Hello, YouTube. This is a tobacco review on Sutliff's Maple Street Aromatic Tobacco. According to the tin, it says here, quality mixture with flavorful maple and old rum. From what I can gather, this recipe for Maple Street has had a recent facelift, taking off some of the sharper edges, making it easier to smoke, and other miscellaneous things that were an issue in the past. Now, can you tell which Maple Street is the old version versus the new recipe, the new version of the recipe? No, not at all. They kept the same label. So this, of course, will create confusion. I guess we have to deal with it. I presume also that if Maple Street had a uh, facelift, there are probably some other versions of Sutliff's products that have had another facelift as well. So you might want to keep a sharp eye out, out on that. Just because you hear something critical about a Sutliff product in the past, they may have redid it and you might want to give it a try in the future. This was an issue that I had with this particular one. I had followed some of the reviews online towards Maple Street and heard these criticisms and thus I shied away. Recently, trying to find a totally different type of maple tobacco, I decided to get this one anyway because I happened to be there with my local tobacconist. And needless to say, I'm not disappointed. Now, the tin note for this has a bit of a, starts off with a bit of a sourness to it, but also a mapley uh, overtone to it as well. After you get this chance to air out a little bit, it starts getting a chocolatey uh, type of smell to it. Almost no maple at all. As for the rum, I don't smell any rum at all in this. And the more that I smell it, the better it gets. It has a fantastic tin note. Now, what is surprising is that usually with an aromatic, you get a lot of black cavendish. This has almost no black cavendish at all. I see a lot of Virginias, but no black cavendish. We get a decent look right there. So it's, it's quite nice. Now, the tobacco itself is on the dry side that I found, especially in comparison to other aromatics. What is odd is that it leaves a oily residue on your fingers. Not too bad. It's not like a Molta Dolce which you know you get done packing your pipe and you're going i need a napkin to get it off your fingers this once you get done packing your pipe you're going i think there's something on my fingers i think there's there's something there so be warned about that this you definitely would have to have a napkin or something nearby just for that particular reason oh i do love the smell of this it's turning into one of my favorites now, burning, it burns quite well, quite easily. The problem I had is that it burns extremely hot. I had to put my bowl down several times, at least five times before I even finished the, the bowl itself. And that was at a minimum, but I'm sure it probably was more than that. I'm not sure why I packed it as, as a regular fashion, but wonderful but be careful about that it burns very hot the room note itself is quite light um, I actually had to leave the room I had some business in a different room of, of the house came back and had this what was greeted with this wonderful uh, pipe tobacco classic pipe tobacco -y smell with this maple highlights all through it. Rum? No rum at all. As a matter of fact, the only time I know that there is rum in this particular tobacco is the fact that the tin says so. Old rum. Go figure. 
But yes, the room note is very pleasant. But it is also on the light side. So keep that in mind of when you want to smoke this. I suggest uh, this particular tobacco for early fall, mid fall. Perfect time for it. As a matter of fact, as a hint, it's got the leaves on it. So when leaves turn, start turning or are turning, they haven't you know, fallen off the trees yet, it's a perfect time for this particular tobacco. It's a medium type odor in the room. It, it won't compete with, say, Christmas smells. It won't compete with other winter smells. And it's too heavy for summer, for the hot of summer. But early spring, uh, yeah, mid-fall, early fall is a perfect time for this. Because the, the medium body of it and the weight of the maple makes it very complimentary for that time of year. Now, I like to pair my tobacco up with something to drink. And when it comes to Maple Street here, like I said, I, when I want to compare this up to an alcohol or something to drink, what comes to mind is what is classically drunk at that time of year. Hot cider, hot cocoa, they would go very well with this, though a bit strong on the taste. So if you don't mind that, it is a great combination. As for an alcohol, I would have to say a nice spice rum. I can't think of any whiskey. I think a whiskey of any sort would overwhelm uh, this particular tobacco. But a spice rum would be good. A dark rum, too much. Your wines, we're talking like a blush or something, would go very well with this. A red, a, a strong red, a Merlot or something, no, way too heavy. But a good blush would go well. A white might be too light, but still is something to consider when giving this a try. But automatically, due to the time of year that I think this is perfect for, like I said, mid-fall, leaning towards early fall, a nice uh, spiced uh, cider or a good hot, hot cocoa will go very well. But give it a try yourself, see what you think. It's Maple Street by Sutliff. And if you have any comments, type them down below, or better yet, make a video and let the rest of the pipe community know what you think of this particular product. Until next time, keep on smoking.